something that has um, been on my mind a lot lately, um, ever since stopping my live streams, has been how trollish behavior has died down. Like, people don't even comment anymore about me, how I look, what I wear, how I speak, my teeth. It doesn't matter. It didn't matter to me because I love myself unconditionally, but it kept mattering to people who I didn't give a fuck about. Like, I don't even know you, bro. I don't even know you. Who are you? Dime a dozen. I don't know you right? So the live streams I had to end recently for my own sanity. Like my twin flame came into my life, wrecked havoc on my life. I mean, it was just insane. And then, wow, the Empress. And now all of a sudden I'm back in my power and I don't really give a fuck who likes it or not. I don't care if you don't like what I wear, right? I really don't. I don't care if you don't like that um, I'm wearing a certain color dye on, on my clothes right? A pattern. It's something like the divine empress is about to start showing herself like divine femininity, what it really is, what it really is to love yourself unconditionally. Like, I don't care if it's twin flame or Santa Claus. If you're not receiving the unconditional love that you are owed, divine empress, you're walking the fuck away. One eleven on the clock. I'm telling you, you're, you're done. You're done. You're done with anyone who's shallow wheel of fortune. You're done with anyone who's shallow and looking at the, the, um, 3d. Like if you don't like me because of how I look, my size, what I wear, right? Anything about me. Go be with people who are as judgmentally uh, prickish as you, okay? Why don't narcissists get stuck with narcissists wherever the hell they're going on the karmic wheel? Why don't they go get that? And I think that's exactly the message here for Divine Feminine is like very soon you're gonna find out that people who have been that shallow, self-absorbed are about to bring in other shallow, shallow self-absorbed people. Good luck, have fun. Where all you care about is looks, good luck, because someone else is coming into your life to scrutinize you on literally just your looks and that's it. Very shallow. Have fun. That'll be fun. Great conversation starter. Like, hey, uh, why are you wearing those shoes? Like, th those were so last season. <laughs> Bye. So Divine Feminine, the Wheel of Fortune is changing in your favor here. Six of Pentacles, because like you're giving yourself even, even, even when others were not like you were doing it right in front of everyone too like in the live streams i would constantly defend myself i'd be like guys why are we doing this to me why are we doing this to me and other empaths in here what the fuck grow up pull your head out of your ass world war three is is about to break out if we don't start doing sh something and you, you you're fucking worried about a gap in my teeth bitch i mean come on like Get over your look at this page of swords. Look at these people spying. It's like that's that's how seriously. Wow, you should honestly go to the reality where other people judge you on your looks. Yeah, I think that's great. I think that would be honest, honestly, super, super great karma for you. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in a lot more empresses into my world, into my reality, who don't actually give a fuck about anything 3D, like, like, like anything 3D. They live in the world, not of it. They don't give a shit. They don't give a shit that they're wearing sneakers from last year. Like, they don't give a shit. They, they don't care, right? They love themselves. They love what they're about. They don't care what they're wearing. They don't care what, what teeth they were born with. They don't care what eye color they have. They don't care if they have a little uh, extra cushion for the push and they don't give a shit because they know they're the empress. And you can't afford the empress. Soon, you're going to be realizing that the only thing you can afford, if you've been selfish and self-absorbed and um, just very vain, the, ooh, the emperor, the, the only thing you're going to afford soon are a lot of really selfish people, self-absorbed people who can't give to you because you don't give to you. Because you've limited yourself and how much you can give to you because you've based it all on looks. Oh, well, I, I can't have that, that kind of love because like, well, you know, um, I have like, I have like an amputation or, you know, I have this defect or I have the, no, honey, no, you're beautiful the way you are. You're beautiful and perfect the way you are. Whatever you wear, however much money you have in your bank account, right? Like, I remember my divine masculine being like, the most loving, accepting person I've ever met in my entire life. When I told him, I was like, he was like, I can see that you're like a little um, like uh, um, um, sensitive about like stretch marks. He's like, I think that's the sexiest thing about you. Like he, he was saying like, honey, the things he would do, okay? I'm telling you right now, 
women, if you guys have a little extra cushion for the push, I'm telling you, it would not bother a boss daddy, okay? It would not bother them at all, at all. They would, they would worship the ground you walk on. They would look at it and drool, honey, okay? You need to find the right ones. So anyway, divine feminines, I think that that's what you're doing. Look at this, the tower. Look at this, the tower with the four wands. Did I not just say, I met, I met my twin and like, oh my God, everything in my life changed. I'm not doing live streams anymore. I'm not doing low, oh no, no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Too many haters and trolls that don't deserve me. They didn't deserve a drop of energy I had. Um, so divine feminines, a lot of you have already met your match. You've been meeting your twin. It could be in dreams, energetically. You already met your match. Yeah? The one I'm reading for right now, you've already met your match. And what happened here, spirit? Sirens. 5.55 on the clock. Sirens. People are fucking worried. And I got this scratchy throat thing just now. And I'm really getting like the fifth chakra is your throat chakra, right? 5.55. Five, five, five. Look at this. Temperance. Justice. Oh, no wonder. No wonder. I'm hearing everyone who is draining my energy and watching my live streams. You guys literally drained me so much that you built an empire with that shit. You took my energy and went and fed it to like karmics to a whole bunch of really, really savage people. Like your car, your tower is about to come. It, it's coming in now. It's coming in now. And I'm hearing something about the divine feminine. Like if you can hold back and not go back, these people, their karmic days, like bro, they don't even know. Libra, Gemini, and Sagittarius. They don't even understand. Scorpio too. They don't understand how much of your energy they took, Divine Feminine. They took a lot of your energy. So, so a lot of you, if you met your twin, your twin was highlighting this for you. They were like, they were like showing you without even maybe telling you. Yeah, man. Wow. One, two, three, four, five. Out of six cards, five of them are major arcana. That's a big deal in tarot. That means, wow, two cups. Guys, nine of cups, ace of cups. Holy shit balls. Your divine counterpart is about to show you where all of your energy has being, is being depleted. Wow. Wow. You're going to feel so much lighter soon. I heard, I heard like you're going to feel so good soon. Wish fulfillment, ace of cups, two of cups. It's insane. This is, this is like twin flame union for the win here. Chariot, look at this. Cancer energy, the moon. This person is coming in. Okay. Yes. I'm hearing them say, I needed an energetic exchange. I needed you to be able to give to me. How can you give to me if you're out giving there to every single Tom, Dick, and Harry energetically? And so you didn't have enough to give your masculine. Give me more, please, spirit. Yeah, and I'm hearing like this masculine say, look at, you can't make it up. I literally shuffled, bitch, I literally shuffled. And the six of pentacles is on the fucking bottom with the 10 of swords like you are on the bottom. Like, like you were on the bottom, you're about to be on the top. You're about to win at life. The, he or she, whoever your twin is, was like, wow, look how fried you are. Look how exhausted you are. Look at this. This doesn't make sense, huh? Doesn't make sense. You're the empress. Why are you this broke? You're the empress. Why are you this, why are you this fried? Unreal, unreal. They, they, they were like, I really, I needed you to give to me. I need to give to you, you need to give to me. There needs to be an energy flow. There needs to be an energy exchange and you can't do it because your ass is fried, Jenna. And a whole bunch of Jenna's viewers. Come on guys, don't lie to me. You're fucking fried. So my twin came in to like show me that, like, hello. Hello, hello, why is the empress eating discounted beans? Doesn't make sense, I make it make sense. I told you guys my story about how I was literally crawling on the ground, literally, literally. Like, I don't know, like a month or two ago, I was at the store crawling on aisle four, trying to, on all fours, trying to grab the discounted beans at the back of the, girl, that story is so hella embarrassing. One day it's gonna be great in my rags to riches story. But like, I kept hearing your, your masculine, um, well, someone's masculine today. I was hearing them say like, wait, what was it? I just heard it. And then, oh yeah. Okay, so remember how I said my clothing? Like, bitch, I'll wear what I wanna wear. It's literally dye on fabric. Literally, that's it. That's it. That's literally all this is. It is cotton and it is a, it is a pattern, it is a fabric. Look at this. Look at this guy, right? 
your true divine counterpart would like love everything about you, including your style, your aesthetic. Like how cool it is, how, how eclectic, how, how unique, how diverse. Like there's something about you that is so different and your twin loves that about you, okay? They're going to love everything about you. Your twin flame is you, you guys. It's the same soul. Like a twin flame is the same soul. Okay, I heard, I heard, I heard good, good luck getting rid of that one. So if some of you lately are just wondering like, is this person gonna come in with an apology? Is there, are they gonna come back? I heard good luck. They're never gonna get rid of you. They can't. You guys are the same soul. Okay, definitely a water sign here for somebody. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there, but what a, what a great message. You guys, the devil in reverse. You guys just don't give a shit about the 3D stuff. What everybody else cares about, you don't give a fuck, okay? I don't care that I'm driving a 13 year old beater. I don't give a fuck. Could I manifest a Maserati? Sure I could. I, I'm using the same cell phone for my job that I have been, I, I have had this cell phone for like three and a half years. Could I get an I, iPhone 20, 27? Sure, yeah, no, I could. I easily could manifest that shit. Well, I mean, only with my own energy. <laughs> I, if I'm out there giving it to 75 million fucking people that I don't know. No, I'm not gonna be able to manifest shit that I wanna manifest. So my twin came in as a, wreck a wrecking ball, really, to make me go within and be like, damn, the Empress eating beans? The fuck? I remember one day, I literally, he was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm making dinner. Beans? Literally, that's all I had in the entire kitchen. I swear to God, I, as God is my witness, that's all I had beans dry beans and I was like I'm making dinner and, and uh uh really yeah the empress with the wheel of fortune next to it like what the actual fuck nah it's over divine feminine collective it's over honey if I say it's over and you're watching me and 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 we're in the same collective like if I as the high priestess am saying this shit is over this shit's over for you too honey I'm manifesting it for you as well fuck that and fuck those beans we don't eat beans. We eat lobster and steak. And we eat it off of our divine masculines. Okay? Anyone else that has a problem with it, go ahead and take it up with someone that gives a shit because it certainly isn't me anymore. Have a good one.